This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Frigidaire dishwasher that's making a lot of noise once it starts up. So it sounds like it's probably bad bearings on the circulation pump. Drain's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna check inside though, just to see if there might be some junk that's rubbing against the circulation impeller. So I'm gonna open it up, take out the spin basket. I wanna make sure we unplug it and also turn off the breaker, make sure there's no power. And next thing, I just found a big shard of glass, pretty common with uh, wine glass is breaking. So I'm grabbing this top piece with my pliers and spinning the arm counterclockwise to spin off the lower arm. And then I'm going to use some Torx 15 driver to unloosen three Torx 15 screws that are holding on the filter assembly. Get those off and then I'm going to remove the upper rack Use a standard head screwdriver to push in on this little clip at the top, and then I can push it up and get it out of the way. Do that on the other side too. So I'm gonna push in on this little clip at the top part toward me, and then lift this plastic cap off. Then I'll take out the upper tray and just set that off to the side. It gives me a little bit more room to work. Sometimes these loud noises are just a worn out circulation pump and sometimes there's something in there rubbing around. So we're going to take a look. i got to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove this Phillips head screw that's holding on this water supply to the, up, to the upper spray arms. And then there's one more Phillips head screw I gotta remove here at the top. It comes right out, it's pretty short screws. And then I can grab this spray assembly and turn it to my right, and it'll unlock from the filter assembly, and then I can just get the whole thing out of the way. So it unlocks here at the bottom. And I'll lift it up and just pull that out of the way. And then there's another Torx 15 screw I have to remove that was hiding underneath that spray arm. So I gotta unloosen that one. <clears throat> it's actually a pretty good procedure to do about once a year to clean out all the junk that accumulates underneath the filter assembly. Another shard of glass. So I'm starting to think there might be stuff rubbing against the impeller because of all the evidence left here <laughs> above the filter. Now I'm gonna lift the filter assembly up and out And now we're in an area called the sump, and that's where you might find some stuff that's gotten caught. So there's a Q-tip. I don't know how in the heck that got in there. <laughs> Can't be good. And here's some junk here that looks like a label. So this dishwasher was not only loud, it wasn't working very well because there was so much stuff blocking the path of the water. The circulation pump couldn't really move stuff around. I just removed another Torx, I think it's a Torx 10 screw that was on the left hand side and that's going to allow me to grab a pair of pliers and pull up on this drain dam. I just pulled out another chunk of a plastic fork, more glass, pull up on this little dam that keeps stuff from getting pulled into the circulation pump. I'm going to grab it. Just pull it up toward me, <clears throat> and then I can see more stuff caught underneath there. There's a little cutting assembly that's supposed to cut stuff up. It doesn't really work very well, but it's totally off track, and it's been mangled, so I'm going to re remove that. You really don't need it. If you rinse your dishes, you don't need those choppers. And they usually don't work very well anyway. I think something hit that chopper and just destroyed it. I think that's what was really making, up, making all the noise. So now I'm just looking in there, seeing what other junk might be caught. There's a couple of toothpicks. 
So there's the old argument. Should you rinse your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher or will the dishwasher take care of it? The dishwasher does not take care of it, no matter what the salespeople say. It just ruins your dishwasher. So it's really wise to rinse your dishes. There's a little bit of sauce left or butter or oil left. That's no problem. But food debris like noodles and rice and seeds and stuff, it's pretty wise just to get that off of the plates, off of the bowls before you put them in. Otherwise it all gets caught in here. I'm just using my needle nose pliers to grab some more junk that's in there. But it turned out there was a whole bunch of stuff caught in there. And that is what was causing the noise. It was not the circulation pump bearings being worn out. So this is great. There's no, no parts needed. It just needed to be cleaned. Here's a little screen that's part of the uh, dam assembly. And cleaning out some of the stuff here in these gates where the water shoots through. It was really obstructed. I think it's probably 20% open, 80% occluded. So that's why this thing had no pressure. It couldn't really wash the dishes. And I'm going to clean out this metal screen too. It just pulls right out of the plastic. And this thing was halfway jammed up with junk, so water was not able to move through it very well. So I'll take a wire brush or an old toothbrush and some water run it over the screen and then use some agitation with the wire brush to get off all this junk. You want it to be nice and shiny. I would say these dishes will be twice as clean as they were before now that the dishwasher can act as it should. Now I'll put that assembly back in that metal I'll lock it in tight, push it in as tight as I can, and then I'm going to put this dam assembly back in in front of the, the circulation impeller to protect it. So even with all these screens and filters, stuff still gets in there if you, if you put dishes in that have a bunch of junk on them. So I'll put in that little Torx 10 screw to hold that dam assembly in. And all this stuff comes apart pretty easily, so if you've got in the habit of doing this every year, maybe at tax time, just to remind you, it'll make your, oh, your okay. dishwasher last I a think, long uh, time, and it'll clean really well. The dishwasher might be okay. I think so we you get that screw in there tight, that and that's pretty much all we have to do with the sump assembly. It's all clean, and nothing's rubbing against the circulation oh. impeller anymore. Just making sure it's in there tight. We'll take the filter assembly and put that in next. Here's some of the junk. That is a lot of stuff that was caught in the sump. Here's the little cutter thing that was just, just mangled. Something hit it. And I'm pretty sure that's what was making all the racket. So here's the filter assembly. I'm going to put that back in. You'll notice that it kind of things kind of line up in there. You can only really put it on one way. This tube on the uh, filter goes into a tube into the sump. And then it'll just sit down flat. And then we can put in those Torx 15 screws to hold it in. Here's the spray arm assembly. Comes in at about two o'clock to engage the lugs and then you twist it to your left until it goes to the 12 o'clock position. That locks it in. And then you want to put in those two Phillips head screws to hold it. That's carrying water up to the top spray arm and to the middle spray arm. And I'm just turning to the right. I'm holding the top of this plastic tab. Hold it with a pair of pliers. And then I'll spin it clockwise to lock it on. And then once it's locked on, it should be able to spin freely. There we go.
you know, tighten up those Phillips head screws. There we go. We'll go ahead and slide in the lower basket. <clears throat> Put the upper basket back on the rails. So it has two wheels on each side. Just take your time, slide it on the first two wheels, then the second two wheels, and you can slide it all the way back into the dishwasher. Then it has two plastic end caps that lock it into position so I usually pull the rail out toward me a little bit and then I'll push the end cap down in as far as it'll go and then it'll lock in that's so that when you pull out the rack the upper rack doesn't just fall off kind of stops it so now we can plug it in and give it a try to see if uh, See if it's going to sound better. Here again is all the garbage that was caught in that sump. Glass, ceramic, metal, toothpicks, plastic. It's awful. So the pump sounds good again. Nice and quiet. Back to normal. So thanks so much for watching our video and please subscribe when you get a chance. Thank you.